During the 1800s, workers were plagued by a deadly problem, the tendency of axes and hammers to send their metal heads flying when they separated from their wooden handles. This dangerous phenomenon gave rise to the phrase flying off the handle and could lead to serious injury. A young blacksmith in Norwich, New York would solve this problem with an ingenious new design. In 1845, David Maydole invented an ad's eye hammer and began producing them out of his small shop in Norwich. The unique design kept the striking head firmly attached to the handle and kept the two parts from separating. The hammer was an immediate sensation with workers and Maydole began taking orders from across the state by the time of Maydole's death in 1892, his company employed 115 workers and was the largest hammer producer in the country. Maydole once said, I can't make a pretty good hammer. I make the best hammer that's made. The legacy of the ad's eye design lives on in almost every hammer made and used today, and visitors can see a selection of Maydole's hammers at the Shenango County Historical Society in Norwich. David Maydole, entrepreneur, inventor, and local legend here on New York's Path Through History.